right, we reached the west entrance of Pinnacles National Park. I'm still waiting for my friends. They'll be here after an hour. Sunset just begun and we have already some folks there with their telescope set up for the night. I think I'll, I'll eventually start setting up my stuff. Okay, so we have the pole star somewhere there. And then Whirlpool Galaxy, which is one of the targets for tonight, somewhere over there. And we might have about one hour of time during which we can shoot. And then on this side, we have the Jupiter, Saturn, and we have Lagoon Nebula somewhere here. And then the Eagle Nebula there. You can't see shit now because the sun is still there. And over here you have Andromeda Galaxy. And this is where usually we set up everything. So there is uh, one person over there who has about two telescopes and a camera set up for the night. I'll wait for a while till my folks come over. So there's one good thing about these places. They are pretty peaceful. There's no one around. There's only a little bit of wildlife here and there. And uh, that's it. And after like a couple of hours, there is no traffic as well. Everybody leaves the parks. So it's all your place now. Right, so we got both of our tripods set up. This is pretty lightweight. I mean, if you, if you go to stargazing anywhere nearby and you see an astrophotographer, they usually have a lot of heavy gear, which my folks have. They should be here in an hour, then I can show you what they got. My setup is pretty simple. I just have a 600mm Tamron lens, Nikon Z6, D7200 and two tripods. So that's about it for now. This is the tracker that I use. It can take up to 10 pounds, I think. It's a pretty good one. Skywatcher Star Adventurer. All right, so that's secure. All right, so we have the basic setup done. Set the tripod up and then the mount and then everything needed on that. So all I do is next just put the camera on. Oh, one more thing. I need to do the polar alignment. So roughly the tripod is facing towards north direction and we have Polaris somewhere there in the air to which this guy is going to point to exactly like this somewhere there so once that is done you just go here and turn this guy on that's it it starts tracking the stars pretty neat if you look you can see the reticle inside like me it's pretty hard so that's the reticle and for you in order to see that during night time you need this illuminator here so i just crank it to max then it illuminates the entire column if you can see my hand on the back side yep okie dokie now it's time to get the camera gear out so the d7200 z6 and bunch of lenses and then there is the 600 mm there so he is the champion for tonight the low light monster nikon z6 it's gonna go on that tripod now jupiter is already out so i'm using that guy to manually focus perfect we got pinpoint there to take the time lapse i am super excited because i just got hold of the whirlpool galaxy one hour of integration is going on on the nikon z6 i'm gonna show you once i'm home Right there, holy moly! 
Alright, so now we are gonna process with the curves and get the most out of this image. This is the last object, the Pleiades. Uh, I got about 24 minutes of uh, light frames for this guy. I think this is pretty much done and then now I'm going to move processing all of the tip files on my phone using Photoshop Express or Snapseed. I think for 24 minutes that was pretty decent amount of detail that I got out of uh, it 200mm.